Welcome to another Tech Kelp video series brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In this series, we're going to build a Microsoft Access database to manage your fitness, diet, workout, calories, daily meal plans, and lots more. Now, you might be thinking, I don't care about any of that stuff. Well, that doesn't matter. That's just the example that I'm using. We're gonna build a new database from the ground up, tracking all this stuff. There's gonna be lots of cool tips and tricks in it. So it doesn't matter whether you're tracking sales, customers, products, inventory, diet, exercise, it's all the same stuff. We're just gonna be putting the Legos together in a different order, that's all. So this is gonna be a new series I'm calling the Fitness Database. We're gonna build it together in Microsoft Access from the ground up. It's gonna track both sides of fitness, your workouts, and your diet, because you can't have one without the other. And like I said, whether or not you're personally interested in tracking your food or your fitness, this database is still for everybody, because we're gonna cover a ton of access fundamentals, database design, proper query building, relational database structure, forms, reports, maybe even eventually putting it online, mm, maybe. So even if you couldn't care less about calories or reps, this series will still teach you some valuable database techniques. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking, well, why a fitness database? But think about it. This kind of project hits all the major points. You're working with a real-world application. It has relational data, repeating structures, relationships, reporting, logging, some automation, all of the stuff that makes a good database useful. It's something you can personalize and expand as much as you want. We're going to make it fun and practical so that you're learning while building something that's actually useful and that you can use on a day-to-day -day basis. Who is this database for? Well, this project's for everybody. Beginners will learn a lot from building it step-by-step step, and developers, don't worry, I'll be sprinkling in more advanced stuff as we go. There's gonna be something for someone at every level. I'm gonna try to keep most of it so the beginners can follow along. And then I'm gonna be like, okay, this part's for the advanced people. We're gonna put some code in here. Beginners, if you don't know code yet, you can just skip that part, just you know, glance over it or skip the rest of the lesson if I tell you, but don't worry, there's gonna be something for everybody. I am gonna call it a developer level video though, because there will be a little bit of VBA here and there. All right, but don't panic, don't panic. Now, why fitness? Well, in my normal access course, I use a fictional retail business called PCResale.net, it's a computer reseller. And some people complain, well, I don't run a store, I don't do any retail, I do a service business, or I'm in a different industry or whatever. But the point isn't the specific business, it's the structure of the database, right? Most people can relate to retail because we've all shopped at a store or we've all bought something or sold something. Some of us have set up a lemonade stand as kids, right? So that's why I picked retail for my normal access course. So this time I picked something even more universal, food, right? We all eat, or most of us, right? Everyone's gotta eat. So whether or not you care about tracking what you eat, well, this is an example that people can relate to. And I think a lot of us have tried to work out at some point, whether it's lifting weights or some cardio. So instead of a business, this project focuses on something everyone can relate to, but the database skills will apply everywhere. All right, tables, queries, forms, it's all the same stuff, just a different example. So what are we gonna be doing? Well, we're gonna start out with diet tracking. You'll be able to add food items like, you know, eggs, tuna, cereal, tortilla, whatever you eat. And for each one, you can track the nutritional data, the macros, right? Whatever you care about, calories, protein, carbs, sugar. Personally, for me, I only care about calories and protein. That's what I focus on. But we're gonna, we're gonna store it all in the database. The system will be flexible. I'm gonna show you how to group items into meals. Right, so for example, my, my breakfast is usually Catalina Crunch cereal, love Catalina Crunch, some soy milk and some coffee. And coffee itself is a bundled product because I put collagen and creamer in it. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to take items and bundle them into meals, we'll call them, right? And that same thing applies to other business types too. Like I used to sell computers, so we'd make bundled items, right? You'd have a hard drive and memory and, and a floppy drive, floppy, I'm aging myself now, right? Add a floppy drive. And then you bundle all those components together into a PC. Same kind of concept here. You can bundle food items into meals. And then you can add meals to your meal plan. We'll set up a meal schedule. You can check off items as you eat them. That's what I do, right? I plan out my, my food for the day and then I check them off as I eat them and I see how many calories I have left. All right. 
On the workout side, we'll track exercises, you know, chest press, curls, shoulder press, whatever exercises you're interested in. Cardio, you can log reps and sets, the weights used, um, even what type of equipment you use, barbells, dumbbells, machines, whatever. In fact, one of my students uh, suggested uh, calculating plate sizes. So if you know you have to put 100 pounds on the barbell, you know, it'd be 245s and 25s. I sometimes find when I'm in the middle of a workout, I get like, I get like uh, gym dumb, I call it. Like I can't do basic math in my head. All right, I need 75 pounds. What does that work out to? Uh, let's see, 235s and two two and a halfs. Oh, okay. <laughs> now this project is also gonna include a bunch of extra goodies, some of which are for the members. Like I'm gonna show you how to use the OpenAI API, chat GPT, right? To pull macros from, oh, not, not access macros. In diet, macros mean like protein, carbs, that kind of stuff. Those are your macros. Um, but we'll use it to, you know, type in banana, click a button, it'll go out to, to chat GPT, get the calories, the protein, the sugars, whatever you want, feed them into your database automatically. That's something that I want for myself too. Because I'm sick of having to look up macros all the time. You know, type in one slice of provolone and then it goes into your database and you don't have to do it anymore. It's just in your database. I mean, you add provolone to a meal, it's just, you've got the stuff already. You want to add something new, you hit the get, get nutrition data button and it pulls it in. So this is all about saving time while building a powerful tool. And some of this stuff will be covered in the, the regular video. Some of it will be covered in extended cuts, but there's going to be a lot of goodies for everybody. One important thing, um, I'm going to be building this as a multi-user database from the start. So I know I covered this in some other videos, but we're going to build this in from the beginning here so that you can share this database with other people in your household, your spouse, your kids, your grandma, your grandma's boyfriend, who's 20 years younger than her and and looks at you weird, and you don't want to call him grandpa. Uh, and <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> but anyways, anyone can track their own meals and workouts in one shared database. Now, some of the database items like your food items, that's those are universal, so everybody can pull on those, but you can set up your own custom meal plans and workouts, for example. That'll be per user. Now, who am I to talk about diet and exercise? Well, let me tell you a little bit about my personal story. In my early 30s, I weighed about 340 pounds, and I went on an extreme crash diet, like 1,500 calories a day, three or four hours a day of cardio and lifting, and I lost about 145 pounds. Most of it, about 80 pounds worth, I dropped in about eight or nine months, but it wasn't healthy. I burned out, I hated my life, uh, I didn't build good habits, and so slowly, over the last 15, 20 years or so, it just slowly came back on, because I'm one of those people where if I don't think about it, if I don't watch what I eat and get some exercise, I will just slowly gain weight. And that's what happened because I didn't make lifestyle changes. So I'm hovering around 300 pounds again. I'm not as big as I used to be, but I'm still a lot bigger than I want to be. So about four months ago, I decided I'm going to change my, my diet and work out again. And this time I'm going to do it right though. I'm not going to go on a crash diet. So I'm not in a hurry. I'm just making lifestyle changes. I cut out sugary sodas, which I did the first time back in the early 2000s when I did this, you know, the first time. I am actually used to drinking diet sodas, like diet Coke and stuff. But I do once in a while, like a full sugar, you know, ginger ale or a cream soda. But I, I got, I cut all that out, cut out alcohol. Um, started eat, making sure I'm eating whole grains, lean protein, tuna, salmon, that kind of stuff. And so now I'm trying to keep it around 2000 calories a day. But you got to watch what you eat. If you don't, if, for me, for example, if I don't write everything down, I'm like, well, how much, what, what did I eat today? So that's where a database comes in handy. And I'm getting sick of using Excel spreadsheets for all of this. So I've been doing it for about four months now and I'm, I, I feel great. I'm not hungry like I used to be. I'm feeling a lot better that I've been working out three times a week and getting some cardio, which I wasn't before. And especially with a desk job like mine, you know, the weight just comes on if I don't work at it. So slow, steady results is what I go for. But I'm building this database for myself, so I figured I would share it with all of you. Now, everything you're seeing in this intro, all those screenshots, they're from my actual Excel sheets. I track my food and my workouts in Excel. And I haven't built this access database yet, so we're going to be building it together. So as we go along, I might add tables or change things because that's what real world development looks like. You think you know what you need. And then halfway through, you realize something's missing. You know, there's something you got to add. There's something that you did wrong. That's part of the learning process. And so I'm leaving my mistakes in the videos because if I make a mistake, chances are it's going to be a mistake that you might make. 
and you can learn from my mistakes. And that's why sometimes I leave the mistakes that I make in, whether they're careless mistakes or intentional mistakes. And you can't tell the difference. <laughs> no, you can usually tell the difference from the tone of my voice. Sometimes I'm like, oops. And sometimes I'm like, now watch this. This is not how to do it. <laughs> and actually, when I'm doing my workouts, I have my garage set up as a gym. And um, I use a whiteboard. Here's the whiteboard back here. You can see it. And um, I like the whiteboard. Uh, and yes, that's a picture of my actual whiteboard in my actual garage with all my sets and reps and stuff on them. Um, I can keep two or three workouts in a row on there and you can see your progress. And then like once a week or so, I'll transfer it over to the Excel spreadsheet and then I'll print out the new sheet and then paste that on the whiteboard over here so I can go from that. But my, my end goal, like I said, not only to have this in an access database, but I want to also make a portal on the website so that I can, you know, see what my workout's supposed to be that I set up in access and then enter in what my data is and then have that get saved in the database. So that's one of my goals. Whether or not I include that in the tech help videos, we'll see. So this is gonna be one of my longer series, probably a dozen or more. Um, we'll start with table design, move into forms and logging, we'll get into reports and analysis. Um, the open AI integration and the online web app stuff that might be extended cuts, we'll see. But you'll get the basics at least of how to build a nice solid database, even just from the regular tech help videos. Um, I will keep making more free videos for this as long as you guys are watching them. I know sometimes with these longer series that I put together after about five or six videos, the views start dropping off. So I'll keep building this and making the videos free as long as the views are up there. And as soon as the views start tanking, well, then maybe I'll just switch everything else over to member videos. We'll see. So if you want to see me make more videos, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this and get other people to watch it. Make your mom watch it. Make your grandma watch it. Make your grandma's boyfriend watch it. Call him grandpa if he wants. It's okay. Just You don't have to sit on his lap, but, you know. Are you digging my little AI pictures? That's pretty cool stuff. I built a database to do that, too. I'm going to teach you guys how to do that soon. All right, so bottom line. Even if you don't care about diets or workout, you should still follow this series. This topic is just the vehicle, all right? We're going to be doing a professional level access application. I'm gonna show you some real world techniques, some VBA tricks, some automation ideas, and more. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this one. Just follow along, build with me, and enjoy the ride. And we will start actually building the database in tomorrow's video. So tune in tomorrow, same bat time, same bat channel, or if you remember, you can watch it right now, because I'm gonna record at least part two and part three probably tonight. We'll see how far I can get. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So that's going to do it for today. I hope you learned something or learned what we're going to be learning. <laughs> Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow for part two. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mention in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus, you get access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. 
Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject, and you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.